cutted once, twice, three times. My chains aren't cutting straight, so I'll show you. So you can see it's cutting on an angle and it's cutting out to the right so what's gonna happen let's go over to the sharpening table over here so I got the two-in-one sharpening tool here and thanks to uh, Stephen Stewart he showed me how to do this properly because I was using it backwards but I was still getting a sharp chain and I'll get it the right way this time and how many strokes do you guys do? Because it looks like a lot of you guys do, you know, only a few strokes, right? But I tend to do a bunch, make sure it's nice and sharp. If I lose a little, it's okay. I get a lot of life out of these chains, so. I'm gonna make sure I get my angle right. It's got these marks on here that help you line it up with the bar. And that's how you get the angle when you're sharpening the teeth. And these tools are really helpful because they do the rakers on top, not just the teeth. This tool is a little bit hard to use when you first start using it, but then you get used to it and you'll get these nice strokes like I'm getting. It's better to, if you have a vise. That's gonna help you not have to hold on and lean over the saw like I'm doing here. So basically what I'm doing to get this chain to cut straight again is all the teeth on the right are too long and the ones on the left are too short. So after just giving a quick sharpen to the ones on the left, I'm going to turn the saw around and do all the ones on the right and cut them down to size and make them equal with the ones on the left. Let's do the other side. This is odd because I'm a left-hander. If this trick doesn't solve your problem, then you could probably have problems with the angles on the teeth on one side of the chain or your bar could be damaged and needs to be replaced. So it appears I didn't have the camera rolling, but look at that cut. That cut is nice and straight. You can see it's not curving down and going to the side. If you look at the block overall, I mean, this cut is maybe a tiny bit wider down here than it is up there, but up here it looks pretty perfect. But you can see down at the bottom, it doesn't have that bow that's coming out fr from the side, right? You could tell I sharpened the saw pretty good because it just buzzed right through, and you could see there's a little bit of rot here, so it's gonna go through this a little easier, right? But that was a nice clean cut too, so I did a good job sharpening that saw. This side had the longer teeth, so I made all these teeth the same length as the left side, so it's the right side that had to be sharpened and filed down to the equivalent of the left side. So I hope that helps guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff.